I'm here with Pablo de Leon. Pablo, you and I met about two years ago here at the American Film Market. It's like a mini reunion. We've had you on our show before to talk about your amazing book that you've been doing signings at Barnes & Noble. And tell us, you know, when we talked to you, it was just coming out. What's that journey been like meeting with fans and people that have read your story and, and now get to meet you in person? Actually, I was a little bit nervous, you know, when you're when you are so transparent in your peace and you're writing about your life. Uh, I gotta admit, I was sweating a little bit at first, but about three months into it, it was all good. It's gravy. It's been a little over a year, so it's been a ride. Barnes and Noble's been great, and the universities, Texas A&M, yeah. Texas Tech, SMU, TCU, all those new, it's been great. Well, you've been, I, I've seen the pictures of you and them, yeah. and they are so happy to meet you in person, you know, and I could see you know, that, that factor in there. Sometimes when people come up and they're like, hey, I'm following you on Facebook, you're kind of like, whoa, but I don't put all my stuff there in a book, so I can only imagine your nervous level. Well, I share that about five years, six years later, so it's even though I still get a little bit nervous about it, yeah. but at least I'm a little more ready for it. So let's talk about what you're ready for. Obviously, we met here at the American Film Market. I remember two years ago. At that time, you're like, look, I, I want to be in film. I, I want to do more acting. And since then, you've accomplished quite a lot. Tell us. So, yeah, I mean, I believe that anything that we do, like in sports, for example, baseball, boxing, we do it because it's an outlet. We want to paint a masterpiece in our own creative way. So I've all, acting has always been my first passion before baseball. Yeah. So that's what brought me back to it. You know, it's not as physical as it was when I was playing in the years of baseball. So. Well, okay, since you threw that out there, tell me, tell me. You, and he's flashing the ring there. That's right, he's got the <laughs> ring. Tell us, you played outfielder for? The White Wings. That's right. Double A. Yeah. Left field. Yeah, left field. So, yes, he is a sports star. But we now know him as the actor producer, too, because you – now, you just came in uh, – uh, let's talk about the acting. You actually did a, a film. What's that called? It's a horror, from what I understand. Ghost Note. It's a full feature. It's in post-production. should be out early next year for distribution. Awesome. And then you're producing something coming up. Can you talk about that? Sure. Uh, we're working on Wrong Girl. Uh, it's a short film right now, but it's going to be it's going to turn into full feature. But we are producing early next year, starting early next year. It's going to be Sir Cole. Okay. It's a female Avengers movie. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we're working on that. Now tell me, you know, obviously this is your second. Uh, is this your second time at AFM then? Yes. Yes. You missed last year. I don't know what went on there. Yeah, I was skipping class. <laughs> <laughs> but coming out to American Film Market, like, what do you get out of this? What do you, you know the relationships that you create? What do you learn as a producer slash businessman slash actor? Well, there's a lot to learn about the business. There's more to it than just doing a movie. You could do a movie, but no one knows about it. The only way to get that out there is coming to the American Film Market, network, 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 network with producers, especially if you're an artist, as an actor. Yeah. But as if you're a filmmaker, you definitely want to be here, get face on with a lot of the distributors that are here located, ready to buy your films. And get prepared. Sometimes you may have a film ready to go, but you want to get the context so you get pre-sales, right? Pre-sales Absolutely. in other areas and yeah. territories. And there may be territories that really like your stuff, whereas other territories it might not be good for. But it's also even good to ask questions of what they like to see ahead of time so you can structure your deal, right? That was big, yeah, because I, I had no idea about the genres. That's very important if you want your movie to sell. Right. So that's what I've learned big time here at AFM. And then we have like other outlets, they, they teach you uh, uh, which countries are giving tax rebates. We yeah. just found out Mexico's in the house. Yeah, I saw them upstairs. They weren't here, well they were here the last year I believe, but they were kind of hidden down below. And they have a great booth as well now, yeah. now, and they have some great incentives there, which we'll cover in a later segment. But Pablo, I want to congratulate you. I, so I, I follow you on social media. I, I realize you have not given me an autographed book, but that's okay. Don't worry, I got one for you. Uh, okay, I got okay, you. I okay. Got you. And, and for those of you that want to order a book from Pablo, do you are you still doing autographs and sending them I out? I am. I am. Yes. And you can order them on Amazon. All right. And what do they go under? Uh, twelve to twenty dollars. I meant the name. Oh, I'm sorry. Limitless. Thank Forget you. Me. Why limitless? I'm sorry. Why? Why limitless? Because we, when we think mentally, we limit ourselves, or we can make, make live a limitless life, and. We get creative with crazy stuff. I'm sure we can get creative about the things we want to accomplish in life.